To model a button form in Rhino, start by drawing a closed curve that will represent the shape of the button, and then take that curve and copy it, placing that copy where you'd like the top of the button to be. Then from the Surface drop-down menu, choose the Loft command, and select the curves in order starting from the bottom. The last piece of information you'll need to give the Loft command is a point location that represents the center of the top profile. So click on the word point in the command line, and with my center object snap on here, it's easy to get the center point location for that top profile. And then I'll press enter. And with those three pieces of information, the loft options dialog box appears, and we get the normal result. The loft starts at the base curve, goes to the top profile, and finally to that point location. If we change the style to be loose and click preview, it will update, and you'll see the loose loft will produce a nice domed result where the top profile is not held to strictly by the lofted surface, but is used merely as an influence. Now you can use this loose loft technique to make buttons out of other shaped profiles as well. Your center object snap will be most easily attained with either a circle or an elliptical cross section. So let's make an elliptical shaped button with a depression at the top. So again, I'll copy that ellipse, but I'll copy it several times. And then I'll take that second to the top profile, and I'll scale that in two dimensions inward. And now we'll use the same loose loft technique from the surface drop-down menu. Starting from the bottom, select the curves in the order that the loft will proceed. And the final piece of information will be a point location for that last profile. And there's our loose loft with a depression at the top. Now the hole on the bottom of this button is a planar hole, so we can easily use the cap command to close it up and turn it into a solid.